Welcome to your Kentucky Lawn. In this edition, we are going to talk about calibrating a backpack sprayer. Calibrating application equipment is critical for proper application rates. It's better for the environment and can save you money. Many people think calibration is only important when applying vast quantities of products over large areas, but it's even important to calibrate backpack sprayers to ensure proper pest control and reduce the possibility of pesticide resistance by using improper rates. Although there are several methods of calibrating these sprayers, today we will discuss the NOMATH method. There are just a few easy steps to calibrate the backpack sprayer. First, assemble everything you'll need to get the job done. The sprayer, a measuring tape, a stopwatch, and a container that will accurately measure liquid. The method we will be showing is also called the 1 1 28th method because we will be using an area that is 1 1 28th of an acre. To calibrate backpack sprayers, all you'll need to do is measure out a square that is 18.5 by 18.5 feet. It's easiest to do this on concrete rather than on grass because when you're calibrating, you want to be able to see where you're spraying. Fill the sprayer about half full of water and have someone time you with a stopwatch to figure out how long it takes to spray the test area. Ideally, you should spray the test area three times to make sure that your timing is consistent. You will want to make sure your pressure is consistent throughout calibration. Once you get a consistent time, spray the nozzle into a measuring container for the same amount of time it took to spray the test area. Because there are 128 ounces in a gallon and our test area is 1 1 28th of an acre, you can take the ounces you collect in the container and convert directly to gallons per acre. No math involved. To calibrate spray guns, which are often used in the lawn care industry, the steps are exactly the same. Measure out the area, spray the area three times while timing, and spray the gun into a measuring container to determine the gallons per acre. In this example, we collected 30 fluid ounces, and converting that directly to gallons gives us 30 gallons per acre. All that is left is to read the pesticide label and determine how much chemical to include in your sprayer. On every pesticide label, you will find the rate needed to be applied. For example, we will look at the label of Turflon Ester to find the information we need and finish calibrating our sprayer. The label states that this product needs to be applied at one half to one quart per acre. During the calibration of the backpack sprayer, we determined that the sprayer puts out 30 gallons per acre and the tank can hold three gallons when full. If we were spraying a whole acre and had a tank that was large enough, we would simply add one half to one quart of Turflon ester to the tank along with 30 gallons of water that we figured out earlier, and we could cover the acre. However, because our sprayer won't hold 30 gallons and we aren't looking to cover a whole acre with a backpack sprayer, we need to make some adjustments. To figure out how much pesticide to include in our sprayer, we need to work through this equation. Our tank holds 3 gallons and we have determined that our sprayer puts out 30 gallons per acre. Dividing 3 by 30 gives us 0.1. We then need to multiply this by the pesticide rate per acre. 0.1 times 1 quart per acre gives us 0.1 quarts. We then multiply 0.1 by 32 fluid ounces in a quart to determine how many fluid ounces of pesticide to add to the tank. Once the pesticide amount is determined, you are ready to spray. Spraying and measuring are the easy parts of calibration and the math is usually the hard part. By calibrating your equipment using the no math method, we take 99% of the math out of the process. Still, make sure you take your time with the math and even have someone else complete the calculations to make sure you haven't made a simple mistake. Math errors can result in serious problems in the field by applying too much or too little pesticide. With some practice, you can be a calibration pro in no time, and your wallet and the environment will thank you. I'm Greg Munshaw, and this is your Kentucky Law.